This is a video demonstration of the distributed augmented reality system we presented at ISMAR 2012. Let's start with a summary of how our system operates. A 3D camera, similar to a Kinect, senses color and depth data of a scene. A smartphone's camera sees the same scene but from a different perspective. By performing computer vision processing on a smartphone and a server connected to the 3D camera, the viewpoint of the smartphone is tracked in real time. This allows virtual content, such as the miniature Earth you see here, to be placed at a 3D location within the scene. Note that the object is not attached to any surface but actually floating in midair. The smartphone user is also free to move around and the system is able to relocalize itself once it's lost track. Because visual processing is distributed between a smartphone and a server, a single server is able to support multiple smartphone clients. Here you see our system running on two smartphones simultaneously. Tracking and rendering on the phone occurs in real time, despite each smartphone only having a single 1 GHz ARM CPU core. As we use rotationally covariant features, the user is also free to rotate the smartphone viewpoints around. Recall that we have a 3D camera constantly observing the scene. This means that our system can render virtual content with the correct occlusions even when the user changes the perspective of the smartphone camera in real time. Our system also correctly handles dynamic occlusions due to moving objects. This is because our smartphone clients are told about them in real time. Apart from occlusions, the 3D camera also senses physical interactions with virtual objects. Technical details of the demo so far are available in our paper, which is linked in the video description. Finally, let's have a look at a simple AR application. Notice how our system enables the virtual soccer balls to interact with the real world in an immersive manner from the user's perspective. The virtual soccer balls interacts with the real world scene following simple physical rules implemented on the server of the AR system. Notice how our system is robust to moving objects, and also moving real-world objects around changes the physical behavior of virtual objects. Here you can see that an object being moved into place actually changes the trajectory of virtual objects. 